So with this kale, I think the easiest way to get it off the stem is just to rip it and then just kind of pull it off the stem this way. This kale might be a little different from what you're used to seeing. This is black kale, it's one of my favorites, but the regular kind that you find at the supermarket is just fine. So the best way to cut it into these pretty ribbons is to lay it on top of each other, roll it up like a cigar, and then just slice pretty fine. Remember, we're gonna eat this raw. Don't be scared, it's delicious. <laughs> And so you want to slice them sort of finely so that it really breaks down. All right, so the kale is in our bowl, and now we're going to start this massaging process. I'm going to grab a lemon, some olive oil. This, it's so funny how this works. Basically, we're trying to break down all those fibers in the kale. We're going to do that with some lemon juice. Half a lemon, save this half, we're going to use it. I need to start working out again. <laughs> that was too hard for me. Some salt and a little olive oil. And then you're gonna start massaging it. And what this is gonna do is break down all those tough fibers, all that cellulose in the kale. And you'll see it kind of shrink just a little bit. We're gonna massage it for two minutes and as you massage it, I promise you, it's gonna start smelling like bananas. That looks good, it's nicely broken down. Just gonna wash my hands, then dice my mango. Mango is one of my favorite fruits and I don't think I'm alone. It's just got this lovely tropical taste, you know? And in India, it's actually known as the fruit of the gods. So it's sort of like our ambrosia. Isn't that great? So, it's gonna go so well with this kale. And look how bright and colorful it is too. It makes you wanna eat it. So if you have fussy kids, maybe you could tease them into eating this, who knows? For a little bit of crunch, I'm gonna add some toasted pepitas, they're pumpkin seeds. I just love these seeds and they're so good for you. And they have this really warm, nutty flavor that I don't find anywhere else. That's all the components of the salad. Let's make a little dressing to go on top. And if you've never made dressing before, this is the one to try because it's so, so easy. The rest of that lemon will go in here. And then a little bit of honey because lemons tend to be a little sour. And then I just eyeball how much olive oil needs to go in here. To me, that looks perfect. And I love how sunshine yellow this dressing is. I'm gonna put it in there, toss it together, and that salad is done. The great thing about the salad is because kale is so much heartier than lettuce, you can let this sit dressed in your fridge for a couple of days and it's just gonna get better.